beautiful and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about this 27 color, it came like this, um, wig from Beauty Forever. I went ahead and cut like two inches off so I could get this blunt look and bump it. So I feel like that's the best way to rock this in length of hair. It just looks so good to me. I feel pretty. I have another swoop and a little mini. I went ahead and made up for the fact that my last lace install, I um, didn't have the footage for the baby hair. I definitely have it this time, so please stay tuned and you'll get a full detail glueless install where Julia is having a good old time. Who don't like watching Julia have a good old time? For real. For real. I love watching Julia have a good old time and look good. So if you want to do that, if you want to see how I got this style, if you want to learn more, some more about this hair, I really love it. Like, it looks so good. The color is so great. Stay tuned and keep watching, and be sure to check the description box links for all information, and we can get into it. All I gotta say is, Mwah! and you already know who it is. <laughs> so for today's style, I just went ahead and brushed my hair back, but can we take a minute to acknowledge how long my hair is? And I'm so glad that it's black. And I'm so glad I'm not bald-headed. And if you were here for my big chop like two-ish years ago, came a long way. We love to see it. So then I just went ahead and slicked back my hair and just got it in a little braid in the back. And that's how I like to wear my hair under my wigs. It's probably not the best way. I probably should get into braiding my hair. But this is all reliable. You feel me? <laughs> so we can get started. I am going to be using my Event Wonder lace bond active and I'm gonna just be going ahead to do this two layers off camera and do the last layer on camera just to save some time because I, who wants to me do the same thing three times like I don't know I will get proceed doing that in a second and come back but one quick second I just wanna say hey I haven't I haven't really done a sit down video it's just really anxious but today I've collected myself and gathered my thoughts and it's gonna be a great video I got a cute style in mind I just wanna be cute and sassy and ginger. So let's talk about the hair real quick before we get to the two layers. Today's wig comes from Beauty Forever. It is a light brown colored hair. I would say this is about a 27. It's not a 30. It's giving 27. I didn't flat iron it loosely, but I will be like, you know, going over it, you know, again. Um, yeah, I went ahead and plucked her off camera. If you guys want a bit of plucking tutorial, I might begrudgingly do it. I don't know how film but I might I might do it maybe possibly now, I always forget to show you guys the cap construction but I will not forget today I'm getting into all the specs on this hair this hair is 22 inches I do plan on cutting it to like an 18 probably I don't like when hair is as short and it just don't look full on the ends like I don't know no shade to be forever just that's a personal preference um, I only like that kind of length or like that this kind of end to hair when it's like 26 inches I feel like it looks a lot like it makes sense but when hair is short like this like I like a blunt cut so that or not short 22 inches isn't short but personally I like a, a blunter cut for 22 and below so that's what I'm gonna do now this lace is like a medium brown lace it's like very close to being transparent but it's just not transparent you know it's it, it wants to be transparent so bad it's just not so it's like a medium brown but I think that works perfectly with my complexion usually I'll need like a, the tinted spray that I use but because it's like this tinted th shade like I won't need to here's the inside cap construction is a 13 by 4 wig drop it let's throw this bad boy on but first um sometimes the the lace is just too long and it affects my lashes so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut like two inches off the lace or an inch I don't know how to measure don't forget y'all, I stay forgetting to cut my little back lace and then like the wind blow and it's real embarrassing. How are y'all doing? What's tea? What's going on? I haven't sat and chatted in a while so I'm just really like glad to be chill and vibing with y'all. You're wondering like where can I see more of you at? Like I love you so much Julia. What can I do to support you more? What you could do to support me more is go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. It's called Julia. It's listed in my other channels in my main page of this one but also there'll be a link in the pinned comment down below if you want to go ahead and subscribe and see more of me being myself because that's what I'm gonna do there. I already can just tell this is gonna be real nice. I'm, I'm excited. The wig is fitting really good great sometimes wigs just don't be on it's giving on and before I do my two layers off camera I am gonna go ahead and cut off my ear tabs because that's what I want to do this wig seems like it's fitting like pretty much all the way so I'm just gonna cut it where it stops at ear 
your top cut. Roll my wig on back, and, and now I can finally do what I've been telling y'all I was about to do. I'll be back. Thanks to, to Larry June, because who would, I, who would we be out here without Larry June, you know? I just got finished on my second layer. I'm really, like, feeling good. I'm feeling like this is gonna be a good time. Like, I don't know. Like, you feel the vibe? Like, I, when's the last time I came on here smiling like this? Stop playing. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and do this in sections for the last layer. I already have two layers all around the perimeter. And then I'm gonna do the, the three sections, section by section. And what else? I had to say for a while. I was thinking. Let's get to spraying. Y'all don't get to, I'll have to fast forward this part because it is like the blow dryer. But I'll be back to talk to you in a sec, girl. Don't. Don't trip. I'll be back. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say that I'm using medium heat. You do need to have your blow dryer on warm for this. And then once it gets tacky, it's getting tacky right now. You can go ahead. My bad. I forgot Larry June was playing. <laughs> I guess you can tell I'm standing Larry June today. All right. Um, I was talking while I have my music playing, but I was going to say that we're just going to move the wig down and meet it up where the tackiness is at. Get everything else situated too, just to make sure that like, you know, that's where you want it. And then, y'all know the routine, y'all know the drill. I'm just combing into the lace. And just make sure everything is doing what it need to do. And then, um, after I get that brushed into the lace, I'll do one little fat, last little blow dry to just seal it. And we can move on to the next section. And it can get ugly. My, my parents was like, you want to listen to some Larry June today? Okay, that's fine. I'm creeping. It's one of them nights. Staying on my toes, dodging the vice. Money. Money the motive. I'm bending some corners. Making sure nobody honest. Niggas is hungry and they want your place. And niggas dying every day, so I'm out the way. I'm with my bitch. <laughs> Real quick, if y'all want me to uh, do like a get, ready, a get ready with me playlist type video, I can. I just don't know if I'm going to get monetized for it. But the way that like, and then like, I hate being such a gatekeeper. It's like gatekeep girl pop, wait. Um, gaslight girl pop, wait. <laughs> gaslight gatekeep girl boss, like very much all that. Like, I don't know why it's just in my blood to just gatekeep things. But I'll give you all a few of my bangers if y'all want me to. Now, you know it's my favorite part it's exposing the lace you know just making sure everything is laid in together and it's feeling like it is on my head the way this shit work is really insane shouts out to this shit now time to raise her off the lace um like i always do i try to do it in like a zigzaggy motion it's already looking real seamless it's already looking real seamless but to just further ensure seamlessness, I'm gonna do a light spritz over it. Not too much because I don't want my baby hair to get too hard. Sometimes it'll happen if you overspray. So just like a light, you feel me? Some, some slight, you feel me? I'm gonna do a little light blow dry and get that together and, and, and laid and melted. And we'll move on to the next section. The streets, the streets don't love you. These hoes, these hoes don't love you. These niggas, they don't love you.
frontal lay. Now, while my hair is in this middle part, I feel like it's best to go ahead and cut the hair how I want it to look. Now, while before I do my side part and stuff, just so that like all the hair is like even. Let me get all this hair tucked from behind my ear. Really quickly, I do want to confirm with you guys that this is a body wave, so perfect for curling. But you know, body wave ain't shit. But like straight and like a different jacket. You know, it's like it's like straight with a cool jacket on because it holds curls better so that's what the difference to, between body weight and straight is to me personally but I'm no hair expert I just do it every now and again um I did straighten it off camera and now um this hair is 22 inches like I said and I'm 5'3 so it goes about to my belly button so my belly button in here that's my belly button okay it goes about to my belly button and I am 5'3 I get that asked a lot and I just want to confirm here y'all have heard it I don't know if y'all heard it elsewhere but a bitch like me is 5'3 so I wanted to go like a little bit past my boobs, like so. Okay, so when I bump it, it goes like that, right up, right up, where the titties at? Do my comb and just make sure everything is. nice blunt cut and it also blends in really nicely with the uh the way the length of the frontal is so i think it just looks a lot better when it looks like this so now I'll do the other side and now my ends are nice and blunt and we can get into doing my swoop i uh, you guys have seen by the intro already that i'm doing a little swoop i haven't done a little swoopy swoop in a minute and i will be showing you guys a little bit of how i do my baby hair because it's only gonna be one little swoop right here it's not gonna be a lot of baby hair but i hope it makes up for the time where i don't know where the footage went for it my last wig install video of lace not the v part but the uh, lace one so again sorry about that now i hope i can redeem myself and get you guys the footage my hot comb was turned on but it died but the best part about this kinder's boutique hot comb is that it literally heats up in seconds and so also i'm going to be using my bedhead pixie curling flat iron and our, everything that I use will be linked down below from the duck bill clips to my the even spray to the flat arms to everything. If you're looking for something, support your girl. It'll be an affiliate link down below. So go ahead and make sure you click those. Y'all know I'm a left part side girl. I love a left part. I love a left side going into the right side swoop. So I guess it's a right swoop. Is it a right? It's a right swoop. I like, I like it. I feel like this side of my face is the... Is, is I, maybe I just feel so pretty right now and I'll do a test like see my, my hot comb already hot um I'll be just adjusting this and readjusting as I go I really don't want too much hair in the front so I will just like minimize that because I really want it to be a slick swoop I also did want a side part as well let's see how I feel with this side part let me go look at this other mirror I'm gonna still do my suit, but I feel like this this uh, side part, this length is really giving. I don't know. We'll save that for another day. We're gonna do this soup today. The soup has to happen. And then for this swoop, I'm just going to do this section right here just so that like the swoop can be as controlled as possible. So let's clip this over here and get this straight hair. Let's clip it over here in the meantime and focus on laying this part down so this part can also go over this swoop. And then also before I get to laying my swoop down, I'm going to go ahead and take out my baby hair from this section so that it's not affected by it. It seems about right. So I just like to take my hot comb and just press it down. Just I'm gonna try to be a little bit more in depth with my baby hair this video, just so you guys can learn. Now that that's laid down and this can go back here, let's start with the swoop. I'm gonna be using my Sebastian Shaper Plus spray. Um, I like it. It's my favorite hairspray right now. It's really flexible hold, but it also like holds.
Now we can go ahead and spray on the spray once we got it centerized in the front and just laid flat. And then this is really ghetto, but no one's gonna be my ass. I'm gonna use this broke uh, brush. It's a harder bristle brush so I can lay everything down. And then now. No, I'm just gonna do a lot of readjusting. So I might not be able to talk this much as much during this part because I need to just be focused and uh, make sure everything is laying how it's supposed to lay. There we go. That's what I wanted. I wanted the sides for this part to go over the swoop. So that should pretty much stay in place because of the hairspray and the heat combined. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. If it moves, you can just tuck it behind your ear again. Nothing crazy. It's not a big deal. But if you if you want security, you're not like me, you want security, go ahead and put a bobby pin right there and do like a X motion and that'll really secure it. I am getting a little hot, so it's time to get butt naked in here, sorry. I always put on like shorts, but never a top. Like I don't know why I get in front of y'all and be like, let's pull the titties out. But it's okay because we finna zoom in anyway so we can get to doing this baby hair. Okay, now that y'all open my grill, let's do the baby hair. I have it already heated up and all you're gonna need to do this baby hair. Wow, I don't have no edge control use a different edge control that's not as holding but hopefully it'll make up for it with the grip gel okay so I'm gonna use this easy edges edge control gel in olive oil I believe I don't know it's just yeah it is oval and then also I'm gonna be using the RS wig grip gel I feel like it holds my edges so nice and then lastly before any of that goes on I'll be spraying on the same Sebastian shaper spray on the curled hair so now let's get into how I do it I like to take a little bit of the hair from the, the side where the part is. And that's part of the reason why I don't bobby pin too early because if I need to mess up and I need to comb it again, the bobby pin can hold it in place and can mess up how um, it would look when you fix it. So glad that I didn't do that. I am so fucking pretty. Really quick, I'm going to go ahead and hot comb this down this way so that it can stop interfering with the bang. I like to just add a little circle right here so I can take away for the baby hair. And see how much that is. See if I need to add more. Take away. Again, using my hot comb at the base. Be careful not to burn yourself. Like me, I have several battle scars to prove that I do this hair shit. Now, personally, I don't like a chopped, um, straight cut edge. I feel like it's tacky. It just don't look good. You just cut it like this. It's just so blunt. It don't really do what it needs to do. So if you have scissors and you don't have an eyebrow razor, this is how I would cut it. I would do it from the downward position so that it can still have layers. And I like them a little long so that they can have that curl up effect. Go ahead and grab your hair and I like to curl downwards but to an angle so that the curl really hits. And that'll give you that look except you need to go this way. And it will. So that's how that's supposed to go. And then I'll go ahead and curl the bottom. I like my bottom edge to be as long as my earlobe or a little bit longer just for that curl effect as well. Flip it the other way. Boom. Went ahead and did the other side. And now we can get to laying them down. Again, this isn't my edge control of choice. I do love the Edge Fixer um, Sweetie collab. I think that's a great edge control. More recently, Edge Booster has been growing on me, but Edge Fixer is my favorite. So I would prefer to use that, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you do. I just put a little bit on my finger. That should be enough to cover up all three bases. And I like to just put it at the base of the baby hair. And like I said, it was enough, so that's great. And I, I can put that on there and I can sit, but the grip gel, I like to do it each one because it dries faster. Oh, really quick, really quick before I forget, before I forget, I like to spray the curl with the Sebastian Shaper spray just so that the curl is held. And that when um, I'm done brushing it through, like it'll stay curled. Sometimes the curls will drop and they won't look as prominent, but the Sebastian spray really is a great fix. Back to that edge brush, I like to just go ahead and brush. So I know I like to have my top edges in two sections. So one that's going a little bit below and one that's going up. So I'll just separate out a little bit and focus where I need to focus on. So I just put that in two and I'll add, of course, the both sections. But I'm going to lay down the back section first before I do 
the front. It's kind of like how I used to do with my old baby hairstyle, but different. Because <laughs> I still like to do the back first. Um, I feel like this is a good foundation for the curl if this would get away from everybody else. Alright, please back up. Please, please back up. And then I like to use my finger to just... I got this trick from somebody on TikTok. I will be leaving a TikTok of where I learned this from because I would not have killed my baby hair like this if it wasn't for this girl. She really got me hip to doing this this way. So again, shout out to her. I don't remember her name off the top of my head, but I'll go ahead and enter her TikTok as I'm doing this because she um, really showed me. Then after I get this kind of laid down, not all the way though because I still need to adjust it, I'll go ahead and do... The front part and the front part goes up a little higher than the back one and so now there are two separate curls and boom that's the fluffy baby hairstyle I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this on the sideburns I'll show you guys this one sped up a little bit I'll do that one off camera and boom i'm gonna go ahead and put on my lip gloss and my outfit and i'll be back when it's time to bump the ends i got my outfit on it's just a cute little jumpsuit from shein i am having a she on she i will be posting a shein haul next week so stay tuned for that if you want to see more pieces i will show you the full jumpsuit but why would i do that when i can tell you it's a video next week and you can see it there <laughs> it's a nice little jumpsuit it's like a knockoff of the roof brand you know, I have mixed feelings about that, but as a consumer who has little pool and like all the big shit, somebody offered me something that's $15 and, it, it, uh, and somebody else got a 50 I'm gonna give it a 15 That's neither here nor there. Let's finish this hair. <laughs> oh, y'all need to get me on somebody's song for real. So now I went ahead and did this baby hair off camera. It's looking kind of squiggly. I hate when Jill does that for some reason, but I don't feel like fixing it, so I'm not. So I'm going to back up a little bit just so you guys can see the length where it's at now. Like I said, it's about where my titties at. That's what the vibe was. So now I'm just going to go over really quick and just add a few passes to the hair to make it look a little bit straighter. Like I kind of just brushed it. Through. I mean, I grazed the hair when I flat ironed it. I didn't really do an intensive flat iron. So let me just add some final um, little passes. Before we do our bumps. It's looking better already. Tuck that behind the ear as it should. And then now my favorite part of chairs like this, time for the bump. It just looks so much nicer. Like, don't it just look so good? Like, in full and clean and grown. Love it. I just thought. Like... I forgot a long piece of hair. Let me get that. Let me get that. Alright, nice little bump going on here. I think that's really cute and grown looking. I feel so pretty. Now for some real final touches, just a few hot comb passes. I would add some concealer to my part, but um, I feel like it looks more natural the way it is. Like, light hair doesn't have a lot of skin showing because the hair is so light it blends in with everything. So I'm kind of feeling the no concealer look. But, um... So, for this hair to come this color and, like... I don't know. Like, I, I like the color on me. I just recently went back to blah. I just recently went back to black, if you saw on my second channel, my vlog channel. So, to have <laughs> this slight ginger taste again really is pleasing. Um, final touch, final, final touch, and then we can get the fuck. <laughs> final touch is the Sebastian Shaper Spray again, one last time. Final topper offer, and I'm just going to use my hands to smooth, because sometimes your hand is better than a brush, you know? 
and that just makes everything look a little bit flatter and get rid of some of those flyaways. It wasn't too many, but you know. All right, now I feel like a bad bitch. <laughs> like. I haven't done a swoop in a long time. I'm really feeling it. So, shout out to everybody. I had fun. Um, again, this hair is from Beauty Forever. It was a 22 inch originally. It's a 13 by 4 frontal with medium brown lace in the shade 27. If you're looking for more details on this hair, be sure to check the description box. And also, if you're looking for any products I use, be sure to check the description box. It's all there for you. I'll take the time myself personally to fill that description box so please do me a favor and check it out follow me on instagram beauty via julia and also like this video comment and subscribe and i think that's my little spiel i look good <laughs> i'm gonna see you in my next video bye beautiful